Hello! Okay, so this is my first video blog. Well, I guess besides the introduction. So, I'm starting the kitchen timer. All right, five minutes on the clock. Let's see. What do you think it means to be a part of a team? What are you learning about that? Okay, this is a funny question because I, I struggled um, in our first, volleyball was the sport that we played um, on the first, the very first day that we started. And I realized in the midst of it, like I was, I got super insecure because I didn't know, I had only played volleyball one time and I got, um, I was in a position that I had never been in before. And so I was really uncomfortable and insecure and I got really in my head um and the Lord just kept bringing like I don't know throughout the rest of that day I was so angry too after I was like because I was angry at myself because I was like get out of your head get out of your head you're not being there for your teammates um and I was talking to people throughout the rest of the night and I feel like like literally it was three people in a row it's Ashley Moore Jen Niago and Hannah Duffy all came and they like each asked me I mean it was within the span of like 15 minutes um how I felt about volleyball that day and so that was a very long preface to why I laughed when I read this question because I think it is something God is trying to teach me of what it means to be a part of a team and I, <laughs> I don't really have the answer yet um but I think a lesson that I'm learning right now is it means to um, to learn how to deny yourself. And I know that that means like in order to deny yourself, you have to know yourself. Um, but I think that it's in a real practical sense, which I'm not a practical person. So it's hard for me to grasp. Like I can grasp concepts, but then implementing it is hard for me. And I think something um, well, so, so, anyways, I think that something God is trying to teach me is that being part of a team and how to be a good teammate means even in moments where you feel insecure and in moments when you feel like you're not doing enough, you have to like make the choice to let God be your judge and remember that he is the head of the body that connects all of us and that we have to find that unity um, and choose to take those thoughts captive that are like telling you that you're not enough and just instead of being in the mentality that I can't do it or I'm not enough start looking to the needs of the people around you and then um and then seeing what you can do because I get so focused on like what I can't do and what I what I'm not able to do instead of focusing on what I can do and I think that God is teaching me to focus on that so I'm gonna read the question again what do you think it means to be a part of a team what are you learning about that I think that being a part of a team means taking your thoughts captive and the lies that want to take away from God's truth about you and fulfilling who it was that God made you to be and like fulfilling that role so that way your team and the Lord and the people that you're serving can benefit from it, from who you are, from who God is making you, who God is making me to be. And I think that, um, yeah, I'm learning to, <laughs> to be okay with, um, to, I'm learning to let God be my judge and hear his voice and follow his guidance instead of what I think is best. I don't know. There was a lot packed into that, but that was the first one. We'll get better at this. And we have a minute 24 to spare. All right. Bye, guys. See you next time.